And we begin with a tragedy no family should have to endure. Yet another reckless driving death on the streets of Milwaukee. Tonight, a family's message to prevent another tragedy. They are mourning a 26 year old man who died last week after losing control of his car. Jessica Maduker shares their message to anyone getting behind the wheel. This was the aftermath Thursday night. The remnants of a car pinned into a tree near Green Bay Avenue and Stark. Milwaukee police say the driver behind the wheel was 26 year old Cruz Guzman. He was pronounced dead at the scene. You know, he's young, 26 years old. He's got a three year old son. He is somebody's son. He's somebody's nephew, you know. His family was told by witnesses that he was speeding before he lost control and crashed. Skid marks and shattered glass now lie next to candles and pictures on the median. It's so sad. He should be here. You know, I think all of us would give anything to have him back, you know, and especially over a driving incident. It's a tragedy the family would not wish upon anyone. No parent should ever have to bury their child, and no three year old boy should have to go on living without a father that loves him and, and wants to be there for him and care for him. And and that's the saddest part. And his three year old son said to his mom the other day that my dad hit a tree and now he's in heaven, you know, and so those are just words for him right now, but it'll it'll start meaning something to him as he gets older and it's sad. And if there's anything they want drivers to know, drive responsible, drive safe, you know, take it easy. Remember, you've got people waiting for you. Those people you know, it, whether you get there two minutes later, at least you're getting there for them. And so don't don't let you know, don't let this happen to you. We want everybody to go home to their families and we don't want I don't want another kid to have, you know, another parent to have to bury their kid. The family has plans to hold a funeral on Wednesday for Cruz. They've created a GoFundMe page to help in covering some of those costs. For more information on how you can help, visit our website. For now in Milwaukee, Jessica Maduker, TMJ4 News.